Hi, I'm Lumos. Uh, I've been on the channel before, so maybe you recognize me, maybe you don't. If not, hi and welcome. Uh, we are not Brimster, but who else do we have here? Uh, I'm Froggy. I'm I Fletcher. Yeah, and we're students of Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. Uh, I think all three of us have had a puzzle at some point uh, solved by Brimster here on the channel, so we're taking part in his Sudoku U series. Uh, we are the U in Sudoku U, the university students, so yeah, we're super excited to solve. Uh, we're going to solve actually our teacher's puzzle, uh, Tic Tac Lizard Toe, and it's honestly, it looks like a collection of rules that uh, Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards would really love. They're really big fans of lines, and so am I, so I'm pretty excited to do this. I know Froggy said like he's, he's a little iffy on the number of different types of lines on this puzzle, but I think we're going to be just fine, and <laughs> I Fletcher's along for the ride. So yeah, I think we can go ahead and like, let's go through the rules. Uh, so first of all, normal Sudoku rules apply. I was going to say obviously, but honestly, that's not necessarily true in every single puzzle. So normal Sudoku rules apply, meaning that in every row, in every box, and in every column, we have to have the digits one through nine once without repetition. Um, next rule. Yeah, we also have killer cages. So digits and cages cannot repeat and must sum to the numbers shown in the upper left corner of the cage. Yep, so this is 13. This will sum up to 7. Pretty easy. Yeah, and the, uh, I guess, beige, pinkish lines are entropic lines. So every set of three along a line has to have a low digit, a middle digit, and a high digit. Yep, and these can be in any order, but it has to be like a repeating pattern of some low digit, or like either low, medium, or high, low, medium, or high, low, me low, medium, or high, I guess. So a valid way of filling this in could be like a middle digit, and then a low digit, and then a high digit, and then another middle digit. But it'll just repeat along that little horseshoe. Um, all right, I'll, I'll take the next rule. So every set of three adjacent digits along a teal modular line must contain digits with three different remainders. Um, and so there are three groups we can kind of choose from here. Uh, 147, when divided by three, has a remainder of what, two? Oh no, one. That was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, has a remainder of one. And then 258 has a remainder of two. 369 has a remainder of zero. Um, so I have to choose one from each of those groups. And just like the entropic line, it'll repeat in a pattern. So a uh, valid way of filling this out could it be like one, five, uh, three, and then I could put like a seven here. And these two are from the same group. And then these are, you know, I have one from one, one from two, one from three. But it doesn't have to be in necessarily that type of order. Um, and then the last rule, Froggy, you got it? Oh, yeah. Uh, we have German whisper lines. So adjacent digits on green German whisper lines must differ by at least five. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't have anything else to add to that other than uh, green German whisper lines also kind of uh, introduce like a sort of polarity. So there will always be like a low digit, then a high digit, then a low digit, or a high digit, low digit, whatever. Um, it'll go back and forth like that, and we know that we can't put a 5 on a German Whisper line because uh, 5 less than 5 is 0, and 5 more than 5 is 10, and neither of those are Sudoku digits. So that's what we know. Let's get started. Um, okay, we're going to start up here uh, because we noticed something about how these entropic lines affect this 7 cage. Um, so there's only one way to add to seven <laughs> in three, and that's one, two, four. So what I was saying earlier is these two ends of the horseshoe have to have have to be from the same group, and we've got two digits that are from the same group and one digit that's not. So we know that these two ends are going to be both low, and they're both going to be either one or two, and then this digit right here has to be four, and we can actually carry that pattern along all three of these and i know that i'm going through this kind of quickly we uh fun like back behind the curtain we have already solved this not the whole puzzle but like this exact step we got through and then realized we didn't have our mic on so we're kind of we're kind of running you guys through the quick step that we just solved um, but yeah so we'll repeat that along all three of these so four goes there and then i know that the ends here are one two and then four goes here and these ends are going to be one and two um all right then where are we going next? Five. Yeah, oh, five yes. All right, so we've got a five cage here. Only digits that'll add up to five are one, two, three, and four. And this digit can't be four, and it can't be a one or a two. So that's a three. 
and that's a two. And then that. Yeah, it looks yeah. down, and it sees the one oh, yeah. down there. This two looks down, sees a, makes that a one, and that one makes this a two. Okay. Now we're going to mess with this German Whisper, because we play something on it, and that will get us started. Anybody want to take this explanation? I don't want to have to talk the whole time, so yeah, <laughs> somebody else. Uh, <laughs> you got it, Froggy. So <laughs> Tell how, us what we know. How it'll work in the middle of this Whisper line is that it kind of branches out four ways. So the way that I thought about it is that it has to be a number where... There are also four other numbers that have a difference of five. I'm kind of explaining this in a bad way. No, that, that's good. That worked. And we also know that it has to be a high number. And uh, the only high number in the rules of Sudoku that has four other numbers with a difference of five is nine. Yeah, exactly. So nine's going to be right here. Um, the way that I thought about it was I was like, we got to we put a low digit here. So it's going to be a high. That means we know that all the rest of these are going to be low. And if I'm going to put a four, which is we've got four low digits, we got to use all four of them. Um, four can only go next to nine. So the other way to think about it is we have to satisfy that, putting that four on this X somewhere. So since we got a nine, we'll place a four somewhere. You can just put a four there. Yeah, and we know that this one's a four because one, two, and three are all looking right at it. And then these two are going to be from either, they're going to be either one or three, not solved, just there. Okay. And then you can solve the center of that by the same... Right here? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Does that have to be one or nine? Can't be one. Oh, yeah. That's a good way. Yeah. This one's looking right at it. Just like Froggy was saying, we have to have some digit that has at least four digits that are five or more away from it. One would be the only other thing that could satisfy that, but one's looking right at it. So this is a nine, and these will be from one, two, three, or four. Uh, This is going to be either one or four. This one's going to be one or four, and then these two will be two or three. And then... I was going to say, can we do the same thing here? But I don't gauge. think so. Uh, yeah, okay. So this is going to be from one, two, three, or four, but it's not going to be two or three. So this is not going to be two or three, which means this is one, four. Um, so it's and nine. yeah, so this is going to be low. So it's like same rule we follow this whole way. This one's going to be a nine. And then these are going to be from one, two, three, or four um, on the outside edges here. So we've got like a winning tic tac toe. X of nines going across the board. All right. Where are two next, everyone? <laughs> um, one thing I can say is this yeah, seven. Cool. Yeah, th so we got a four looking up here. Uh, so this is either going to be one, six, or two, five. It and can't two five. it can't be two, two five. Two exactly. Twos are both looking over, so not two, five. Oh, so that's. That goes down to the bottom. Yeah. yeah it looks so this one six pair is looking down. Going to make this a two, and it's going to make this a one. So one will look back up to make this a four, and this a one. Solid. Oh wait, and then this one immediately makes this a six, yeah. and that a one. And now we've placed something on this. What do you got? Well, the, the one looks yeah, left here anything. to make that a three over in box. Oh yeah, line. yeah, yeah. That one makes that a three. We got a one. That looks right, right there. Oh yeah, one box like... three. Okay, we got a lot going on. <laughs> I think now this one's just going to look down, so this is not one on either not of these. Two in that one. And yeah. where? Ooh, right, uh, yep, right there. Oh, yeah, this two's looking over, so this is not going to be a two. And it can't be a two in the bottom left one. Uh, or be the bottom right. Wait, two can't be here. Oh, sorry. This one can't no, be a one or a four. Be, it can't be, yeah. Yeah, this pair, well, this one four pair is looking down, so and this is not one. one has to be in the top left. Oh, yeah. Now we've got a two, three, four, triple. That's a one. And that's going to be four. And okay, so it's looking anywhere else because I swear this was like looking all around the board every time we play something. I think we're good. But I did just find we've got four ones looking down here into box seven. So I can place a one right here on this. Uh, what is this? That one's not an, it's a modular line. That's yeah. the one. I was like, what kind of line is this? Okay, <laughs> we did a lot of things. I think so. We've got like the same placement of a one on these entropic, nope, modular lines. <laughs> Um, so we might want to look at like what this could potentially be. Um, like, okay, so these are modular lines, right? So we need to have these two are going to be from the same set. We know they're not going to, well, I was going to say they're not from 147, but I guess they could be. Like, no. yeah. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. No. Well, they could be like four and seven. That'll be 11. No, no okay. Because then I'd have to place one. it. The one means there's no other. Oh, duh. They have to be, they can't be next to each other. Thank you. This is why we solve this group. <laughs> All right. So we've got between, this is going to be either from 258 or 369. Um, well, let's see. Do I want to, maybe let's look at the, I'm a big killer cage calculator fan. I think we have to. 
Can't be three six nine. If it's three six, it would have to be a four there. Which if it's three nine, it would have to be a one there. Which can't be six nine. And it's too large. All right, look at that. Fast solving. So we know this is going to be from two five or eight. Cool. All right, and we know that this is not a two because this two is looking over, and I think that might be all I can do, like Stoku wise. Yeah. So then let's try and like. Oh yeah, this one's gonna be from three, six, or nine, and it's gonna be either three or six because there's a nine looking over. You okay. know that that one right there is a two yeah. because Where? there five eight. It's already thirteen. Oh yeah, you're right. And that you guys are right. So this one's a two, and then this is from five or eight. So we'll pull these off. So that means that in the middle we'll have either a three or a six. This is just from looking at the yeah, options six, for uh, six, thirteen. Box five. All right, cool. So six is gonna look up, making this a three. And making that a six. And then if this yeah. is two, three, this is five, so that's eight. And the two in that cage looks down and makes that one a three. All right. And then that three makes this a two. All right. And then what is this? A 15. So it's going to be either six, nine, or seven, eight. And I can't totally narrow this down, but I can tell you it's either a seven or a nine, um, which will make this one either a six or an eight. And this down here is a 16. Uh, so it's going to be seven, nine pair. So what we got on that. I bet we can do about the same thing we did here, down here, because uh, we got a similar number of digits like looking right at this. So we know it's not from, we know these two ends are not from 147 <laughs> from the logic we solved last time. Yeah, it would be the same logic because you still have a, it sees a four and one. So, and three, six, yeah. Nine. Okay, so it can't be three, six, wait, say that again. Oh, wait, yeah. okay. So you were saying it can't be three, six, nine because yeah, I mean, it would have to see a one or a four. You have to put a one or four here, and we can't. All right. I'm going to go with that. Cool. <laughs> so then this is going to be from 2, 5, and 8. And this 2 is making this not a 2. But like no, we said no, earlier, no. it can't be 5 and 8 together because that would already be 13. But we have another extra little digit that needs to be used. So this one's a 2. And this can be either 5 or 8. So that would make this 3 or 6. And I think it might end up having the no, yeah, same. Right. Three, same uh, this... You can't. I don't know for sure yet. Yeah, this one's going to be either 3 down. or 6. Well, it can't be a 3. Cause... Yeah. Three looking down at it, so this is a six, and there's a three. And then if that's two and three, we got a five, so that's eight. So we've got like the same composition. I wonder if it's like fully symmetrical. Okay, almost. do all of these have the same comp? Like you see how this is like the exact same, and then this is the other. like I bet they're all going to have the same composition, but we have to prove that. We can't just like exactly. jump in, like throw stuff in. But you know, that's our prediction. Um, one thing I just found, so where can we place a six in row seven? Um, it can't be here because of the box. And then there's a six looking down here, so we're gonna place a six right there. Just like in box five. Wait, does it do the same thing in? Oh no, no, yeah, it does <laughs> do the same thing. I'm just. Gotcha. Oh wait, I want. Oh yeah, because it's like right here in between the. Wait, is it like it's the whole thing? I I honestly would not be surprised if this whole thing repeats. I would be impressed that they made that happen, but I wouldn't be surprised because it's right. definitely on brand. <laughs> All right, one, two, three. I know that the four is going to be on this side over here. I wanted to see if I could fill these in. And what else? We have five, seven, nine. I can't do the rest of those. Um, you know what? I bet if we can figure out the logic of these entropic lines, we'll like find the composition of these three. So which one do we want to look at? What do you guys think? The top right one. All right. Let's let's. You can't fully get it. You can't have a four or six. So there has to be a five. Yeah. Just don't know where it is. Okay. So. Oh, yeah, because like six is looking at both of these and there's a four in the box. So one of these two is a five. And then one of the other, one of them's five and then one of them's from seven, eight, or nine. But we know that this one's not a nine because there's a nine looking over. Um, and also there's a nine looking up. So nine's not either of these. So is there a seven or an eight looking over anywhere? Not necessarily. So what? We got like five, seven, eight. That's not wildly restricted. Let's look over here. So this one actually, ah, the lights turned off. I think this happened one time when I saw, I just like, yeah, I gave it like an automatic <laughs> dance. <laughs> All right, so uh, what are we doing? So we need a medium digit and we need a high digit over here. Um, if we're gonna put a high digit, if this one were high digit, it would be a seven, but we don't know that it's the high digit. Uh, Cause we got an eight looking at it and a nine looking at it. Uh, otherwise it could be a five or a six from our medium set and then this one 
I think this one's pretty unrestricted. Yeah, this has got like five, six, seven, or eight. Not super helpful. And then I would, hmm? I would look at the uh, the teal line and the teal line to like the one. that one. You take it. <laughs> you direct because I don't know where you're going. <laughs> okay, so both a four and a one see these two digits. Okay. So if this was like one four seven parity, they would have to both be seven. So it can't be that, and it can't be three six nine. Basically, by the same logic from before, because you would have to have a one or a four here. They both see that, so these have to be from two five eight. Okay. All right. And then we said there has to be a two on it, but that one can't be a two, yeah. so that so one's a two. two. And yeah, I bet I, I'm certain it's going to have the same composition. <laughs> so then this is two, five, or eight. This is going to be from three or six, um, just to finish three. that. And it has to be three because of the six looking up. Yeah. So that's a three, and then two plus three plus eight is thirteen. So uh, now we got what we got to figure yeah. out which one's the. This one's from one, four, or seven. It's not a four, but it's either one or seven, I guess. Um, and then this one is from three, six, nine, but it's not three, so it could be six or nine. And I think, you, oh, wait, nine's looking know. over. How'd you get that? What you don't know which one is which, or... oh, which one, which one is which? Oh, wait, I just you're so right. Well, no, well, actually, oh, wait, no, yes, I guess yes, you can. Six, like, I yeah, these three oh, are all looking at this cell. Sorry, I didn't explain that very well. These three are all looking at that cell, so this one has to be from one, four, or seven. Right. Um, so it's either one or seven, and then. This has to be three, six, or nine, but three and nine are both looking at it, so this one is a six. Um, we've got two sixes looking. Oh, whoops! Two sixes kind of looking up into this box, so six is going to be in either one of these two. That's something we want to keep track of. Oh, we can place a four up here in box two because we've got a four looking in here and a four looking in here, so we'll place a four right there. Let me see. We can. I was gonna say we can finish the force, but we've got like a wing across. Well, darn. <laughs> All right. Oh, I was gonna say we've got. We've only got two digits like left in this column. So what's left? Is that a five, seven? Yeah. Okay, five seven. Um, and then this can't be a. Wait, no. Sorry, I'm like literally going off of modular lines rules. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna be either a five or seven. Just go ahead. Yeah, this one can be with the entropic line. either five, seven, or eight. Yeah. But it can't be a nine because the one looking in. All right. I was hoping that the it's the entropic lines that don't want to like break. <laughs> the, the rest of them seem like they're going down pretty easy. All right. What are the leftover digits here? We've got five, seven, and eight. Is that? Yeah. Okay. And actually, the six is looking over, so this can't be a six. It's also got like a triple across this row. And then one, two, three, four. I think the rest of this is going to be five, seven, or nine. None of which I can I can fix off of like. That can one put on a one, one in that part. Where? The one right there. Right here. Yep. Yeah. Because there's a one looking over, and there's a one looking down, so there's a one right there. And then this is going to be from five, seven, or nine. What is this? This is five, seven, or eight in this box. And it's on eight right here. So I'm gonna have an eight as one of these two. So yeah. this one's not an eight. Um I'll mark that just for future reference. We have the pair, so that oh yeah, yeah. Six, five, seven pair. So that's a nine. We can finish off our sixteen. What do we got okay, here? Look at look at the six where a six could be in box one. Box one. We're going to 6B. So it has to be in the middle column. Okay. So it sees that 6. We'll see the one on the entropic line down. Yeah, okay. And then, um, okay, and then look in box well, we gotta, 5. Yeah, the 8. And 8 has to be in that middle row. So you can take out the 8. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So this has to be an 8, so we can take and out the 8, the eight, eight and here. Then, and then you have 7. Then you yeah. 9. Mm -hmm. We also have... We 9 in the bottom right. Over here, yeah, because yeah. we got this five seven pair looking across in row six, so that's a nine. And this is gonna be a five seven pair, okay? Is it a five, five seven, seven eight, eight trip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, where? <laughs> oh, right here, right here, oh, yeah. And so then this one's a six, and then this six makes that a nine. 
All right, and this six will look over to make a six go right there. Box nine, the two, three, sees the two up above it. Two, three, ah, yeah, two sees this. So that'll that's... give us a four. This will be a three, this will be a four, so that'll make this a two. Um, what else do we, what else does this break? Oh, this four is looking over to make this not a four. Ah, whoops. Okay, so that's a four. And then what's the, what are the leftover digits? Five and nine here. So that means that this digit right here sees this nine. So this one's a five and that one is a nine. Plus, I guess you could also say there's a five, seven pair across them. Seven. Oh yeah, let's finish it. Uh, this is a three. Okay. Then what's this pair going to be? Six, six eight. eight yeah. All right, and then there's a six looking yep. down here, so this one's an eight, and this one is a six. Um, this eight's going to look over look, or look up, so this is not an eight, and this one is. And then what's the last? Oh, I was going to say what's the last, but five, it's not the last. <laughs> there's five, seven pairs all over this place. Right. Five, seven pair here. And we said this was not a six because we already placed the six in this three, box. Nine. This it can't be three. But okay, wait, so this is a 3-9, and yeah, then... That one on the left. Ah, there's three looking up. Yeah, okay. So, well, that was kind of a terrible guy, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. Nine and three, and then this one's, what, five? Oh, <laughs> forgot about the deep, deep dudes. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here's a five, seven, eight. placed the eight and box three. Well, oh, sorry. Never no, go ahead. Well, oh, you can't. I, I was like, okay. Right there. Yeah, yeah, you can get rid of the eight right here. Down. Yeah, okay, so this is not an eight. Um, And you can get rid of the eight. There's not, there can't be an eight. In that yeah, one. I was gonna, that's what I was going to say. So this is a five, seven, eight triple, but this one can't be an eight because this eight looking up. So this one will be an eight. And this one will not be an eight. And I'm wondering how we're going to get these five, seven pairs uh, solved. Place an eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These, these are looking down, so this one's going to be an eight. This is not an eight. Oh, I bet it'll be like, the we'll start, yeah, the entropic line somehow. <laughs> okay, uh, we got a five, seven pair. What is left in this box and in this row? Six, six, eight. Six, eight, and then this six is looking up to make this one the eight, and this one is the six. And then... There it is, we got it. The five, seven pair. Yeah, so oh, okay. I don't know. You can get the five. Yeah, this oh, yeah, five is looking yeah, up to make this a seven. seven. Oh, wait, we already had that resolve, but this five, this five's been here, hasn't it? Okay. Okay, five looking up, make that a seven, make that a five. Uh, this five will make that a seven. This is a seven, that's a five. All right, I'm just going to go around placing fives and sevens is what I'm going to do. So five, seven, and then we can uh, try and figure out if they have, if this was truly a repeating pattern the entire way. Um, actually, I don't think I can quite finish these. Uh, in box so three, there's a seven. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, there we go. Seven looks across to make that a five. Seven, five. All right, and so what do we have left in this? Uh, uh, an eight? Five. Yeah, okay, so yeah. this yeah. one's not an eight, so that's five. <laughs> or, <laughs> backwards, we have an eight looking up. Yeah, that one's not an eight, so it's five. And then this one is an eight to finish it off. Boom. And boom, 23 minutes, 36 seconds. I think that was good work <laughs> for us. All right, I three hope you guys, and yeah, I know, it took eight. three people, and I, but it was way fast. I think... Yeah, I think this would have been would have taken me longer. Like, I think I would have missed like a whole bunch of rules. So, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> uh, we always enjoy solving puzzles written by Full Deck and Missing because they always come up with fun stuff. Um, so yeah, I guess welcome to. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Sudoku U. And yeah, <laughs> I have nothing else to say. Anybody else got no? All right, cool. <laughs> Signing off. <laughs> all right now, you have to edit this out. I know. <laughs> 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 <laughs>